Hey YouTube, so I'm looking to add a skimmer to my pool. So I picked up one of these Flow Clear, I guess it's a best way or an Intex um, skimmer that I'm gonna add. Um, let me open it up and take a look at it. Okay, so these are the pieces. Um, and it looks like this goes together pretty easily. You got your actual skimmer. Try and hold that with my feet. So I can do this one handy. Got your basket goes in the skimmer. You've got this goes on top of the basket. Hold on, you see that? That goes on top of the basket like that. Then you have a lock ring. The lock ring. Let's see if we can find that. This locks in. There you go. That locks in. And then I'm going to unscrew this this is I'm gonna pop this in this is what's gonna hold it on okay so something I wanted to show you with my pool so I have two B's if you have one then this is I guess doesn't exactly apply to you but if you have two I'm actually gonna take my one B on this side I'm actually going to block that off with a plug I'm gonna I'm going to actually, let me shut off my filter, and then I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to use one of these plugs to block it off so it's all going through one. Because um, you want it to have a strong suction. This is blowing out now. I don't know if you can see that, but this is blowing out good. You want to make sure that the suction in is good so it goes through the skimmer. Okay, I'm going to try and show you what we're going to do. So I just hooked up. It came with this adapter, so I put this adapter on. I'm gonna hook the hose up to the adapter, and I'm gonna put the skimmer in, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the skimmer in. I've got it connected up. It's sitting below the water line. See, this floats up now, and it's sucking through water. I'm gonna let it run for a couple hours, and then we'll take a look, and we'll see what it's caught. All right, YouTube. So I just had this running for about an hour, and I just pulled it out. And this is what it's grabbed so far. So it's grabbed some of the debris. Actually, there's some more pine needles on there. I got a lot of pine needles. So it looks like it's grabbing some of the pine needles and some of the other crap. So only one other thing I just noticed, I guess I need to make sure I also clean the bottom under here. Well, I just lifted that out. It's a bunch of pine needles stuck on the bottom side of that. Um, so I'll need to clean that as well. It looks like it's working as intended. Hopefully this will help keep my pool cleaner than without the skimmer. That's the idea. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you like it. Have a great day.